So for today, we're going to be looking at the Virtuous set. If you guys don't know, the Virtuous set is up for sale for the next three weeks, if I remember correctly. And it is pretty interesting considering this is an armor set that a lot of people have been wanting to come back. So this is going to be pretty interesting. I'm going to be doing a review video plus a shader video plus the class individual video, which if you guys don't know, we go through each of the classes armor set and then make individual sets with some of those pieces. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about the armor. I definitely think the armor is super dope, as you guys will see when we start reviewing the armor. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I appreciate y'all. Remember to hit the bell notification if you guys want to keep up to date with my current content because I do think it's worth it. And everything else really does help the channel a lot. Other than that, let's actually look at the armors. So here is the armor set. I definitely think this armor set is probably one of the best season pass armor sets we've gotten period like honestly it's so good a lot of these pieces i use almost daily and then there's some other pieces where i'm like i wish this was different so first and foremost we're going to be looking at the hunter then titan and then warlock hunters i think the helmet is really good i think this is one of my favorite helmets that i use a lot i mean to the point where like i have one of my favorite sets that i utilize with the helmet uh the cloak unfortunately i'm not the biggest fan of it just because like i know this is like very minor not even minor but like it's such a like dumb reason to hate it but in my head when i look at a cloak i imagine the hunter putting it down i can't imagine this hunter putting this cloak down because of the big ass like mohawk laser thing like it wouldn't realistically go down that well so that's why i'm not the biggest fan of it uh the arms and the boots i think are amazing the arms are actually probably the best piece from this whole set with the helmet the boots, I like them a lot, but I've found myself not using them as much as I used to. And I think the chest piece is the worst piece just because those like uh, those little purple like uh, metal things don't change color, unfortunately. And that is like one of my biggest pet peeves about this armor set is that for most of the classes, there are pieces that don't change color. Titans, yours is actually the mark. The feathers don't change color. And then on the arms, you guys will see this blue like um decal or whatever that actually doesn't change color either <clears throat> and for titans i think the helmet the chest piece the boots the mark all of it is amazing i think the arms are like the only piece where i'm like i don't really care for them to be quite honest i don't i don't think it's as good as everything else but boots super dope although the feet are kind of weird but if you can like look past that it's amazing the mark i think is amazing like s tier i love it i use it on a lot of sets the chest piece and the helmet again same thing s tier i use them a lot warlocks i'm gonna be honest with y'all i like the helmet a lot that being said the visor purple color does not change color the chest piece as cool as it is the white insignia for the uh 14 on the dick like an anything that you see white does not change color unfortunately so if you put this on white then it's going to be white but then you have like this really weird discoloration there as well and the boots i think are the best piece from the whole set i think the arms kind of like the war the titans i think it's terrible and then the bond i actually think is really cool as well like very like the digital uh feathers i think is really really cool so let me know what you guys think funnily enough the hunters the, the purple like uh metal things don't change color but for all the other classes it does so i always found that kind of annoying but yeah this so this is being sold um this is the first week you guys have two weeks left until this armor goes away forever probably until they resell it in 10 years later i don't know it's 15 bucks each so it's way better than the undying armor because the undying armor when it first came out was 20 bucks each you'll be saving 15 dollars in total which is funny but it's it's so hard because like i hate i hate the the bungee store i hate it to to like it's just it reeks of greed and everything like that and then we get situations like this where it's like the virtuous set damn like this armor is S tier armor for a lot of people, including myself. A lot of the armor is amazing. I just really wish we had a different way to collect this armor or just resell the armor as season pass armor or as the season pass and then just let people reacquire the stuff that I got a few years ago. And for the people who are like, no, like that's supposed to be special. It's not that special, dude. Like if there was a special way to acquire the armor back in the day, then I get it, I guess. But it was just you literally doing what you do now with the season pass. It's not that deep. Like, 
I don't I don't understand the the need to like <clears throat> basically gatekeep armor when it's like <sighs> there is no special way to acquire it. Like I understand people saying like gatekeeping like flawless armor from the trials of the nine i i understand that a lot more than this because at least trials of the nine you actually had to go flawless and get the armor it was like you actually had to go out of your way to get it this armor it was just a season pass bro like we were all leveling it just casually it's not like if there was anything special there was no secret mission to get this armor even though that would have been cool it was just a season pass armor so i would just prefer if I would even be okay if they were selling like 20 bucks for this for past season or season passes. That would be cool because then it's like, okay, like you got to pay a little extra to get something that I got like a year, like a few years ago. But let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think we sh uh, people should acquire this armor or just leave it in the past? I personally don't think that's the case. I think gate keep gatekeeping armor is not the way to go. There's definitely better ways to have old players feel special without gatekeeping stuff like weapons or armor because that is a huge part part of the game for me personally so i think like titles um shaders i think would be okay um i forget what the the thing is called but the thing that like your name plays on um yeah i don't even know what they're called because i don't really care about them but those would be good like something that's not something that i can put on my character i think should not be gatekeep or should be gatekeeped so let me show you how it shaders real quick. So the shader we'll be showcasing is Cryptic Insignia. This one specifically because it showcases the weird like blue, like light blue white that the Warlock's uh, dick cloth has. And that again, you cannot change the color. So unfortunately, if you're going for like an all white look, the chest piece for Warlock's is not gonna be the best thing for you. This also, also showcases pieces that just don't change colors, specifically the purple on the Hunter's chest piece. The per oh, excuse me, the purple on the mark for the titans and then for the warlocks again like i said it's just that cloth color on the like insignia for saint 14 that's not going to be able to change color other than that and the uh visor for the warlocks as well but other than that shaders really well i'm actually really happy with how it shaders um i hate unshaderable pieces that being said we always can work around it. I hate to do that, but you can really do, you can really work around it because the feathers, actually some people just ignore the feathers outright, which is completely valid, I guess, but I can't really do that, which is why I always combine it with some sort of color that is really good with purple or just purple in general. <clears throat> I personally would love if Bungie had gone back to this armor and been like, okay, let's actually like fix the shadering for this because again, it makes no sense that the purple the purple like medallion feather or not feather but like the medallion things on the chest piece for the hunters doesn't change color but for the warlocks and titans it does like i've never i've never understood like why is that the case uh same thing same thing for the feather and same thing for the insignia for the uh same 14 dick towel thing that the warlocks have just let us change the color or just give us the option to change the color i think that would be great like i would love it if there was a way where we could just come like really go into warframe style and just let us choose which shader like what piece of armor shaders 
whatever color we want. Like I would love, I would love to live in a day where the shaders that Destiny 2 has is more of a palette that you can choose which color goes where. I think that would be amazing, but that is for a separate video because I will be making a wish list for uh, fashion. So let me know what you guys think about the armor. I definitely love this armor. I definitely utilize it a lot, specifically like a lot of the helmets I do use a lot. The chest piece for the Titans. A lot of the pieces for the Titans actually. The Hunter's arms I use a lot. Warlock's boots I use heavily. Not only that, it's really good. It's a really good set for pieces that glow because again, all the boots glow, all the helmets glow, um, the chest piece for the Titans and Warlock's glows, the arms glow for the Hunters and Titans, and then the Bond glows for the, ton the Hunters and Warlock's. So there's a lot of glow pieces here as well. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, after this video, we should be posting the shader video, which I just show you how it shaders. I should mention that I've seen some people ask if the, if I can rotate the armor while I'm doing the shadering. And I'm gonna say no for the sheer fact that the shader videos literally only take me like, it's, it's a really short video for me to make. If I, if I start rotating the armors, then it gets a little problematic because I would have to rotate all of the classes. I mean, it would be cool because you would see all the shaders in one class, but that would mean I would have to do, what is it, 50 or so rotations for each of the classes and then edit that. That Editing that alone would be really, really, really annoying. And I would have to do that for each armor set that comes out. And sometimes we get like five, like this season alone, we've gotten a lot of armor. So asking me to do that for each armor is just a little bit too much, in my opinion. I could do it from the customization screen, I guess, but I also don't want to do that either. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I definitely don't want to do it because, again, it's just more work than I really want to do for a shader video, especially when the back really isn't that crazy. That being said, I know some people are going to be like, no, I would like to see the back. But I mean, at that point, I guess what I could do is just do screenshots of the shaders. So that way it's not as much work. But it's just you guys have to understand that like these videos are so simple to make that it's easy to combine it with these review videos because I, it's not that much work. And again, considering I'm doing the review video plus the shader video plus the three class specific videos, it's just all of that would have like it usually takes me around like three or four four days two full days if i'm actually working on it like not like i wake up work on it until like 12 hours later then yeah i could finish them really fast but i rarely have that time especially now that i have two jobs it's just the best i can do is this so unfortunately i if this channel starts to blow up and i can actually like make a living off this ch channel then I can definitely see myself doing that because then it's actually for my job, so to speak. Like it would be like, okay, well now I'm doing this because people want to see it and I can actually afford the time to do it. But because I don't have the time now, I mean, I have three days a week that I'm off technically. And even then one of those days is not even a, a day off really. So I don't know. I, I apologize if you guys wanted to see that, but it's just, I, I just don't have the time for that. So. Let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys. Remember to hit the bell notification, like, comment, all that because it really does help. Other than that, be safe and I will see you guys later.